dad's sick, but he's here today for the gorillas. He's staying really quiet. He looks really sad all the time. The volcano is looking pretty sick right now. This is where we walk from. Take a pick of the stick. Take a stick that looks like a dick. Great to me. <laughs> oh, they're driving a car. Try to keep our voice low. Uh, by chance you might see those animals my colleagues said uh, but no guarantee to see them we have to greet them so i'm sure i will teach you some uh, <laughs> greetings. greetings when you back home you greet your friends <laughs> <laughs> every morning yes it's a <clears throat> <All right. laughs> we're in the forest where the gorillas are got instructions about what to do if they charge at us and we know how to say hello and back off. We are slowly becoming more like that. Our forest is satisfied as long as we keep moving up. Good that they climbing, even the big one. They do go. Oh, oh. What? That thing's so freaking muscly. I haven't seen his face yet. Mama, mama, mama. Tell me his face. Look at what we're going through. We're like sliding down hills. It eats only the back. Oh, how many, how many do they need to eat per day? Uh, how many 15, kilograms? Fifteen percent, about how much their weight. Fifteen percent of their weight? Yeah. It's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to
<laughs> Feel too small for this shit. <laughs> oh no. I am not a rock climber. <laughs> Mum. <laughs> Wonders off to find another way. Hi. That's a cute ticket! That's really cool. It's so cute. They're not there. So they just keep building more nests. Dad's with us this time. We're about to pick up our top skirt and dress. And I'm very intrigued to see what it's like. They made it in 24 hours, which is pretty awesome. And I have no idea what it's gonna look like. Like I told them a design, but I didn't really like expect it to work out because it's so hard to communicate it. But yeah, we're gonna try it on and show you guys. One of our ladies. Very cool. I love it. Like seriously, that's so nice. That's really nice. Put too many layers on it. Very nice. Thank you so much. Very nice. <laughs> Is the material cool? <laughs> <laughs> the material. Yeah, yeah, it's really cute. It fits really well. Yeah, and I told the guys that you're a YouTuber, and then you give them the YouTuber you? Thank you, I was thinking that. <laughs> That's a better way to do it. You got adjusted. <laughs> Sorry about how dark it is right now. Today is actually our last day in Africa, which is so, so strange. The trip has been really long, we're kind of settled here. Like we're really used to it in a way. It's felt like home, so it's kind of strange. But as you might remember from other trips, I always look forward to going home. It's really weird. I'm kind of a homebody in some ways. Finishing it off yesterday with the gorillas was such a crazy way to end it. It was so surreal. As you could probably tell in those clips, I was absolutely terrified of that silverback. Like I haven't been that scared in a long time. Like fight or flight really kicked in and I was like, I'm allowed to run because they'll chase me and I'm not allowed to attack it. Like I was just stood there like, oh my God. It was definitely like the freeze aspect of fight or flight. And it seems like a cartoon animal just jumping around like it was so bizarre but I am so grateful for that opportunity I know so many people would kill for this and it's something I just keep replaying in my head because it's just so surreal so it's definitely one of the best things I've ever experienced and it was so cool for it to be one of the last things that I did in Africa the other thing that we experienced in Rwanda that was absolutely crazy and I couldn't film it for obvious reasons which was totally fine I respect that was the genocide museum it was seriously one of the saddest places I've ever been most people still know so much about things that happened so many years ago and this was so recent so the fact that we're not educated on it mainly in Australia is really not okay so I'm going to leave some links to some sites that you can read about it below I know you probably naturally don't want to read these things because they're sad and I get that, that's like a human survival thing. It's really important that you sometimes let yourself feel bad and grieve with people who have gone through so much. It is so awful. There were some parts that really got to me where I was just really tearing up. There was this room called the child's room and it had a whole bunch of photos of some of the children that were murdered during that time. And it had their age and some of them like 18 months old their favorite food, their favorite hobby, and then how they were killed. And trust me, they weren't just killed with a gun. A lot of it was torture. And a lot of them would have seen their family raped or tortured. And it's just... But anyway, today we're just chilling in this hotel room because the one my parents is in is getting checked out and someone else is going in. So we're just going to chill in this room today. Then tonight at 11 p.m. is our flight to Dubai. But I think we're heading off at about 4 or 5 because that's when our checkout is. And then we can have dinner along the way and it will be a little bit more chill. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. I've never been to Dubai except for stopping at the airport we're there for a few days. We're doing some very fun stuff. So I can't wait to bring you guys with me. Good morning. Good morning. See if you can learn some skills. <laughs> That's the secret to making the best coffee. The power goes out right at that moment. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> Island is a true fan of your coffee. <laughs> Just Thank not you so much. This will be you if you're in an ad. <laughs> Just a technique. Nice coffee technique. You got this. I like it. It's a huge But I mean, it'd be incredible to look at. It doesn't even look like it should stay in the water, does it? Like, it's like nice. a little <laughs> Yeah, you drank enough for all of us. <laughs> We've been waiting a while now for our flight. How long has it been delayed by so far? Half an hour, uh, something like that. And because it's an 11 p.m. flight, that's a little draining. But we got upgrades to business class, which is very exciting. It'll be Island's first time in there. So, so drained, and it's eight hours to Dubai. Island's very happy right now. <laughs> She's discovering all the perks. It's beautiful. I love the design of it. And all the I love the pattern up here. It's very nice. 